Hey guys, welcome to Sully's Models, and today we're going to be looking at uh, dioramas. Um, are they expensive? Uh, are they cheap to make? Um, and what sort of stuff can we be using? Um, so, yep, so we're going to look at the kind of uh, bits and pieces um, that you can use to make um, like quite simple or quite, you know, big um, sorts of dioramas. So, let's get into it. Okay, so, in short, no, it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, you can make it expensive. Uh, you can buy kits, um, diorama kits, um, you know, of like farmyards, um, you know, bombed out streets, um, you know, or, you know, if you want to make them yourself, um, it can be uh, fairly cheap. Uh, but again, it depends on, you know, sort of what routes you're going to go down and sort of what things you're going to be uh, using. I personally, uh, try and make things as cheap as possible. I try and use a lot of stuff that I've got uh, kicking around about the house and the workshop. Um, if I do have to fork out and stuff, I again try and make it as cheap as possible. So, some of the stuff um, I generally use are stuff like uh, Firmex boarding, um, uh, stirrers, uh, coffee stirrers, uh, cocktail sticks, and barbecue um, skewers, uh, and um, foam. Uh, you know, I, I use all sorts of foam. Uh, I have forked out on this, which I'll, I'll get onto um, in a bit. Uh, but generally, I've used um, what packing foam. Um, you know, because it, it, there it comes from what I bought earlier. Um, you know, so you don't have to you know worry about that. So sometimes it's best. Um, you know, when you bought something, you got packing foam. Even polystyrene. It's not brilliant to work with. It makes a lot of mess. Not polystyrene is like. Um, I mean, not saying foam is particularly uh, tidier, uh, but it doesn't break away uh, as much as polystyrene does. Um, but I've used um, insulation foam. Um, that can be a bit hit and miss sometimes. Um, sometimes you get the ones that got layers of uh, like, a, like a fabric or something in between them. Um, you know, so sometimes that makes it a little bit difficult, but you know, still, used them uh, I've done some right pieces um, with that um, now this stuff this is like proper sort of modeling foam um, you know it's, it's fairly dense but it's still good you know you can get a good uh, knife through it um, I bought uh, a small load it cost me about 10 pounds um, they come in um, fairly large blocks there's some about half the uh, thickness that but about the same size but you can get them in different sizes anyway obviously different variants and prices but um, for 10 pieces I think it was off eBay roughly about 10 pound you know so it's not too expensive um, I've actually never really used the stuff before um, but I've been prattling around with it and you know it's not actually that bad um, other bits and pieces I've used um, as well are for some of the bases like uh, this one is an actual piece of log which is cut down uh, and worked on um, the top of that and again I've used bits of foam on that uh, cocktail sticks and whatnot but um, you know so a lot of stuff I've used is sort of stuff that you can find um, around the house depends again on um, what I'm going to be building so uh, what I'll do is I'll move you over a little bit and I'll show you some of the dioramas that I've uh, worked on particularly quite recently and one that I'm working on at the moment um, and you know hopefully this will give you um, you know quite a good idea um, on you know stuff that you can uh, be using so we'll move over okay so uh, these are the two uh, two of the most recent ones um, that I have done uh, again mostly using a lot of uh, sort of household uh, bits and pieces without needing to um, spend out uh, on anything uh, so we'll look at this one first very quickly. Um, as I said before, uh, I've used a bit of uh, wood. Um, just cut it down to the sort of thickness I want. Um, and then I've worked up from that. Uh, so these I've used um, as, actually, it was actually packing foam uh, I've used to make the hills. Um, I've roughly cut them in a wedge shape. Um, I actually, I think I remember if I put them down, I cut round roughly. Um, to the shape uh, of the wood so it keeps it fairly in line with the base um, and then all I literally did was using household plaster um, to make um, the effect of sort of like soil 
uh, and dirt and a build up there. Um, household plaster is great. It doesn't matter if it's out of date. Uh, the stuff I've got is, I think, three years out of date, um, but it still works. Um, so, and I, I just make all sorts of mixes. It doesn't have to be very accurate. Um, obviously, the least amount of water used, and you can kind of get this more of a rough, uh, rigid uh, effect there. Um, great for stonework as well. Um, and more for the centre of the base. It's a little bit more watered down, um, so it's a little, slightly a little bit um, smoother. But I mean, prat around with that. Um, you know, you'll know what you like um, when you see it and when it comes out. Um, for the barbed wire uh, and posts, fence posts, uh, we've used um, good old cocktail sticks. Um, you know, nothing extravagant. Um, just pop them in, cut them down, paint them to the right uh, colour. The barbed wire fencing I've made myself. Um, the reason I'll, uh, I'll leave a link um, at the bottom uh, of the video uh, on how to make these, but basically all I've used, I don't think we're gonna see this very well, but we're gonna try it anyway. Um, just some uh, wire, um, this sort of hobby wire. Um, it's Oasis Floral uh, products, uh, and that is a 30 gauge. And they're about seven inches long. Um, you know, um, basically put a couple of these together and put them in a vise and a drill, uh, quickly spin it round. So um, obviously you're gonna want a couple of pieces, spin it round and it gives you the effect um, of wire. Um, you know, so really that is that stuff is really simple and easy to use um, on that uh, there. Um, even with these figures, um, I've found stuff that I've had from other kits. So stuff like that is always good uh, to keep because uh, you never know when you, when you want uh, you know want to use it. Because I was given these figures and I was limited on some of the kit that I had uh, with it. Um, stuff like the uh, straps, I've used uh, masking tape, <coughs> excuse me, um, and just painted them up uh, afterwards. So to this one, which is obviously slightly more uh, larger uh, base uh, and uh, diorama, um, MDF bottom, um, I actually got someone to do this for me, um, so it actually didn't cost me anything. Um, but I mean, you know, you, you can buy these fairly cheap um, for the smaller ones, obviously the bigger you go, a bit more expensive you get, but they're not major, which again, I'll, I'll get onto that one in a minute, because I've got another base, um, which I've, I've, I've bought. Um, the uh, building itself, uh, again, is using this Fomex stuff. Um, it's really good. Um, it's quite solid, but at the same time, it's very easy to cut uh, and bend as well. So it's a mix of durable and very good to work with. Um, again, plaster for the walls, um, for the front of the building, um, the, the um, logs there as the roof supports. Uh, again, they are barbecue uh, skewers obviously are a lot thicker than a cocktail stick um, are great for you know that sort of thing um, the what you can see <laughs> of the door there uh, and the window shutter there they are quite simply again these cocktail stir uh, not cocktail stirring sticks sorry um, coffee and tea stirring sticks um, just cut down to sort of the right sizes um, PVA glue or super glue whatever you want um, to um, stick it together. Um, I personally have cut them down beforehand uh, and then stuck them. I tend to find that's easier because sometimes they just uh, break away. Because um, I generally use my um, sprue cutters. I've got an old pair um, and they tend to shoot off and, and it breaks away if you did it in a singular piece. Um, sawing uh, just takes a bit of time. But you know, um, whatever you find uh, works best for you. Um, stuff like um, maps there, you can buy really good um, sets of maps, but sometimes it's like, well, I need one. I don't do dioramas particularly that often. You know, you know, they can be up to between five and sort of 10, 15 quid. Um, you know, so you might not want to fork out on that. So all I did was went on the computer, found some genuine maps uh, and printed off a couple of different sizes because I wasn't 100% sure. 
um, of the right scale um, and then the one that seemed to fit right cut down um, you know and just just rough the edges up put a couple of little cuts in it there um, you know to make it look like it's um, you know a bit of an old map uh, you can always good put a, uh, you know the good old uh, tea bag uh, across it to give a bit more of an aged uh, sort of effect Again, most of this stuff, like the crates, um, weapons, um, I've had these lying around from other kits. Um, so, you know, so you know, I haven't really had to spend any money out uh, there, because obviously sometimes you get some kits and they give you loads of weapon choices, um, which is great, because obviously it means you've got some spare bits of kit afterwards. Um, stuff like the um, bowl thingy at the <laughs> back there i tried to do this in north uh, sort of north africa try to make it look as arab as possible um that there quite simply is a air rifle pellet painted gold um the brush at the back there really simple uh, to do um bit of wire i actually use fuse wire because again that's something i'd lying around the house um a thin bit of wire not the same gate uh, you know that 30 gauge uh, wire there to bind the um straw type uh, brush um, I used uh, some woodland scenics uh, grass um, basically I just clumped it together bound it uh, and then cut it to the right length that actually isn't oops, apart from there it's not actually glued um, at all somehow I managed to get that to stay together uh, you know and stuff like um, you know um, towels um, cloths anything like that Stuff like that is really simple. Uh, just tissue paper um, is great um, for stuff like this. Um, really watered down PVA glue. Um, soak it, just dip it in that, and then place it onto wherever you want, and it will pretty much sink into all the grooves. Uh, maybe with your tweezers or some like, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> cocktail stick. Um, you know, just move it around a little bit, try and get a couple of creases in. You've got to be careful, obviously, because it tends to rip. Uh, but then sometimes that can look good as well. Depends on what you're doing and what you're going for. Um, you know, again, rifle sling there, um, bit of uh, masking tape, um, and then paint it up. Simple as that. Um, you know, stuff like the uh, guy's cigarettes. Again, bit of wire, um, cut down to you know fairly the right sort of length. Um, you know, really simple. Um, so, well, back to uh, bases again. Uh, so, this is the one I am working on at the moment. I'll get him out there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This base here, I've I actually bought. Um, it's a it's a deep base. Um, you know, you see these on a lot of dioramas. Um, you can get these in a load of different sort of sizes. Um, if I remember rightly, I should have looked this before I started doing this, but if I remember rightly, I think this was about um, 14, 14 pound off eBay um, for that. Um, again, they do others, you can do get uh, a pair um, for only, probably only a couple of, uh, couple of pound more actually. Um, you know, it wasn't anything um, major, um, but I, I didn't mind, so I thought I wanted to do something a bit more with this one. Um, so I thought I'll try try this out, do a couple of little things. Um, you can also get wood uh, plinths um, for busts. Same again for bases. These are really quite uh, nice pieces, um, but they can be again quite expensive. So um, you know, be careful. Um, I say be careful. Just think what you want really, <laughs> um, and you know, keep within you know you sort of um, the budget you want to be uh, playing with. So what I'll be doing with this, um, again, I've used some foam X board uh, as well as some of that uh, foam. Uh, I have purposely done this, um, not because of being tight or anything, overusing stuff. I actually wanted a fairly smooth part um, on the base uh, because to go with that, we have a little sort of bivy, which again, that's scratch built. Um, Again, that's really easy to make. Um, I actually stuck it to a bit of plaster card, um, made the structure, um, which is just um, cocktail sticks, sorry, not cocktail sticks, barbecue sticks, 
uh, and just a thin bit of wire uh, down the middle. Um, and then for the canvas itself, this is actually a baby wipe. Um, gave it a bit of rinse through uh, to get sort of the soap um, and whatever stuff that they put into baby wipes. Um, and actually while it was wet, um, I draped it um, like first around the sides and then I did the top uh, so I didn't have any seam work um, on the top level because the way these work they're draped, more draped over um, and let it rest over the sort of the central bar so it gives you a bit of a you know a bit of a ridge in there so it's not just you know a flat uh, piece um, painted it with uh, again some watered down PVA um, let that dry and then painted it up and then you know you got quite a reasonable uh, structure really um, so but that's the reason why I've actually done uh, this that way because I wanted a definite flat surface because at the same time I actually couldn't be bothered <laughs> to try and you know uh, smooth a bit of foam out uh, to get it all to fit so what I will do now is uh, after this I'm going to use um, the uh, household plaster and cover uh, the entire base um, what I might do, uh, which is also quite a good little technique, before it dries, um, you can either do it wet, but I'd probably leave it till closer to it drying um, and actually place the vehicle uh, a bit further back um, so it'll give you indentations uh, of the track, uh, the tank tracks, uh, to make it look like it's actually, you know, drove from over somewhere else and then uh, stopped here. Uh, you can always uh, carry that on um, if you wanted to to make it look like other vehicles have passed through that um, area um, as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you a rough example, um, well an example of basically what I'm going to do because I have actually technically done this before. Um, so I'll forget the other one. <clears throat> So, it will basically look, sort of, something like that. Maybe not background. <clears throat> so again, this uh, is just a old bit of MDF that I had kick. No, tell a lie, it wasn't. This wasn't, I actually bought this. <laughs> um, fortunately, it just seemed to be the right size. Uh, this was, if I remember rightly, about five or six pounds. It wasn't massively expensive. We got this from, uh, hobby craft um, so you know fairly cheap um, I did go out a little bit more on this one I've spent a little bit of money on this um, not a great deal uh, again the base of this uh, is um, I've used come on get your words out and think quicker uh, <laughs> I've used um, clay sorry uh, I've used clay uh, for the base um, of um, some of the ridges and particularly the ridge line up here. I actually did put a chunk of wood in there to raise it up so I didn't use too much um, of uh, that plaster. Clay, sorry. Um, you know, so we give our effect of a, a bit of a hill uh, which leads down uh, into a stream there. Um, again, barbed wire fence. Uh, I've used uh, matchsticks this time uh, on that again. You know they're cheap or if you smoke you you know you're gonna have them um about um bit of general flock uh also bought um these tufts of grass and uh, flowers i actually bought these as a set um i forget the price of these they weren't grand um the expensive i think it was in the region of sort of six six pounds i think or thereabouts so they weren't very um very expensive um, the bushes themselves uh, are actually uh, sea foam. Um, it's a natural product, um, it's a natural plant, um, which I basically base coated a brown um, spray glue uh, across the top and then dunked it um, or chucked a load of um, Scenics um, flock uh, over the top. Um, and then gave it a bit of a uh, another again watered down PVA glue um, spray. 
uh, across the top and that's you know quite uh, solid Oops, solid there uh, so you know um, it depends on what you're going for um, again depends on what you want to uh, 4k it on uh, you know so basically have a think about it um trawl through the internet see what other people have done get some ideas um and you know uh, pretty much just work off that okay guys so i hope that helps you um so the short and simple answer to that is no it doesn't have to be expensive um but you know you can make it as expensive as you want um obviously look at the sort of budget uh, that you want to spend uh, on what you're doing um and go from there uh, keep as much um, stuff as possible from previous projects, um, packing, uh, you know, when you go to the coffee shop, half inch a few stirrers, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, just keep hold of it. Bits of old um, stuff from other kits um, as well, um, you know, might not fit into anything you're doing um, at any point, but you never know. You might fancy doing something really weird and that stuff actually, um, you know, fits in uh, to what you're going to do. So again, guys, um, thanks very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also uh, follow us uh, on Facebook um, and Instagram. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, you will see pretty much uh, from start to finish uh, of my builds. Um, so please give us a follow and a like. Um, and as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope it helps and I'll catch you next time.